Good morning everybody, welcome to a new video. It is the continue of the daily vlogs and the year of construction. So the plan today, we gotta sign the contracts with our crew. So uh, we prepared the crew, uh, the contracts and uh, 10 a.m. we're gonna meet up with them and sign. But first, let's go to the resort and then uh, check on the boys, the boat, how it's going. And then we have about two or three more days of entry before it goes back to Indonesia. Signs of completing the boat. And if you're curious, look at all the development here. Started about the same time as the, with the house, and this is the new port of Darwin. So, a big area right here. Massive port. Very good. Now we're at the dive shop, and there's a lot more divers today. Eight guys up island. Two, four, six. So, that's. Uh, 14 guests today, very good. Now let's go in the boat. Here comes Ford, he's our dinghy driver, dinghy master for the gypsy. Super low tide right now. And uh, guys, if you haven't seen the episode with BBC Planet Earth 3 with David Edinburgh, that went my own time. Good morning! Was featured here, the frog fishes. Gotta see it. Two big bankas today, and then uh, very busy in Malapasqua. November, December, it gets really busy. High season. So right now we're uh, doing just absolutely final things for the electronic systems like uh, the wipers on the windshield. So uh, we're fixing the motor uh, clocked up or something and uh, just a minor thing goes with boat work. It's always something. And then uh, in about 30 minutes we all go to shore and we officially uh, signed the contract with the boys. So uh, we'll maybe give you guys an update about what kind of crew we have. Uh, Aitor, our Spaniard, he is off to do his things. So uh, we had to re uh, get a new one for him. But uh, I told him, please, before you go back home, uh, travel around Philippines. And so he's doing that now and we really appreciate his work. And if you see this Aitor, thank you for everything you did for us, especially in Malaysia and uh, bringing the boat here safely. So yeah, beautiful day today, guys. Look at that. This is the rainy season. <laughs> I love rainy season. Ooh. It's mostly typhoons when they come over uh, in December. That's, uh, that could be a tough one. So let's see how this season will be. The last thing we have to do here in the engine room is the water maker. We just need one part and then it's ready to go. We actually have two of them. The one below is working fine. And the second one we're waiting for a four house per pump. It's been shipped here, but then it's good to go. So we'll make all of the water here on the boat. Uh, good news with the Kohler. And thank you guys for the comments. They're not German, they're American. I was told wrong. So uh, yeah, they're fantastic. And the update we can give you about them because they're uh, very modern. You can see their exact fuel consumption. So for example, running the boat with the aircon and everything, we've been running at 0 0.8 liter per hour. Let me say that again, 0 0.8 liters an hour. And that is unbelievable. Same with the Volvos. They are extremely fuel efficient compared to the other boats from our friends in the uh, Liverpool industry. And 
finally, the compressor and the nitrox for the dive tanks. Solid. Very good. One comment I got in the last video is that I didn't show the uh, crew cabins and that was just because uh, they're, the guys are using them right now. I don't want to show their personal belongings, but let's take a look if we can show. This will be an office for the captain and also beds there. So that's one of the things left to do here. We're getting that installed very soon. So that's a quick look at the uh, crew room, one of them. They have their own air conditioning, they have their own space, their wardrobes, storage. But it's actually me and Chris, the owners, we don't have any cabins. We have to sleep on the floor. <laughs> we sleep on the couches. So uh, <laughs> the crew has to get a good rest. Uh, even though we are part of the crew, we'll be diving and um, assisting the guest as dive guides as well. So uh, it would be, you know, tiring as well. You know, we do four dives a day. A lot of, a lot of things you have to do on the boat. So, uh, but still, you know, we prioritize our crew that they are very well uh, taken care of. Here's another cap in for the crew. And then their own bathroom there. The slow button, the fast top button. Awesome! <laughs> working! <laughs> they were always working but uh, one of the motors or not the motors but the uh, mechanism that wasn't connecting to the spinner so we we'll have to fix that two and a half hours in the office a lot of meetings uh, discussing pretty much everything to run the operation but we're gonna sign with the guys later tonight there were some few mistakes in the contracts all good but that's just part of it so now i'm gonna go back home now and catch a lunch let's go nemo <laughs> so for the last three and a half hours I've been working on the computer but I want to show you uh, what Shun has been doing for a few hours that's wow. so messy here what are you doing? I'm trying to print something it's just a sample but I think it's good I think it looks nice I like the color it's detailed Excuse me guys, can you please go out? Are you guys waiting for your food? Mommy! <laughs> when are we allowed to eat? Yes, babe. Yes! Yes, Thor! Good boy, boy. Good boy, mom, baby. Now we're testing the water maker. Yes, yes, yes. We got our water. And it's really fast. That's just one of the water makers, the smaller one. And then uh, next week we're uh, finishing off the big water maker. That's the water. You can still feel like uh, like it's uh, all new material. Like you can almost feel the yeah, tube, yeah, tube, yeah. tube taste. Yeah. So we gotta run it for a few hours. Yeah. That's normal. So we could only taste uh, like it's brand new product. You know, you open up a new car or something. So we gotta run it for a couple of hours, and then this water gets transferred into our water tank, which has a massive UV filtering system. So double filtered, triple filtered, and then it gets up in the saloon where the water station is, and this water station has another UV filter. So this water is clean as it gets. Okay, just came back home, finished lunch, and uh, really good meetings this morning. But now we gotta go up in the lamp because the rock pool apparently has arrived. I think so. We'll see. So you're gonna stay here? Yeah, I'm not gonna go out. So you gotta rest because 
We're trying to make a baby. My OB got me asked to me to bed rest for now. Yeah, her doctor says rest. Banana from there. Mm. I gotta try that. Take off my shoes. Oh, no. Banana from the land. Whoa. These look good. Banana from the land, guys. Harvest it. What, when did they harvest it? Um, A few days ago? Three weeks. Uh, Two. Two weeks. Good. Mm. Wow. Free bananas, Brian. Bananas all day. Mm. Skyflex finish. Where's the Skyflex? Finish. They finished the Skyflex. Our oh, sorry, sorry store emptied the Skyflex. I am not surprised. Okay, let's do an update on the house. We have all the workers today and it's looking very good. Raymond, how are you? Oh, you're good. Five. All good, Jules? It's okay. I think it's ensuring the fixed glass. Yeah. Yes. This one's fixed, and then we have the three sliding one to this way. Then one fixed here. We also decided to make a small defender over here, about. Uh, maybe 30 centimeters and that's because this is the TV living area so there's going to be a lot of movement so there's no need to have the window all the way down a little bit of protection for the rest window from the top and down very happy with that part just these small changes we did making a gap in between the wall now we have electricians threading all the cables That's the electric panel guys, they are finishing the 8 remaining ones, the 32 on the top, not 24 like I said in the previous video. So 32 over there and only 8 on that spot and I believe on the master bedroom spot we can add at least 8 plus uh, maybe 14 to 16 more on that roof. So a lot of good space for improvements if we need in the future. But then again, I honestly think we don't need this much power, to be honest. It gets so uh, cool here in the evening, and then daytime we have about two degrees less than at uh, surface level, sea level. And you can see here as well, a lot of uh, cables coming in and out. It's all for lights, I think, these ones. 
Very good. And Contractor Juice, he just brought up the first 20 rock wool. Yes. And we have about 80 more to go. Most of them are already in Dumaguete, but he's bringing about 20 at a time up here. And then we have a last shipment with the remaining 30 or so coming soon. And then the uh, ceiling here, we're gonna paint that as well with anti-rust before the rock wool goes up. Electric room almost complete. We're gonna have the inverter on that wall. And then here on the left one is the batteries. That's gonna be installed probably in one or two weeks. Take time. It's not a not an easy job to set up a big system like that. Still have a lot of uh, the steel parts left. These are the thin ones, I think nine millimeter. And we're gonna make a lot more drag of fruits, maybe 50 posts. Look at that, it's a squash. I think it's squash. Brad, what's this? What's all this? It's squash, okay. See, I'm learning, I'm learning. And this is gonna blow your mind. What you see behind me here, all these bushes is uh, cassava. And uh, it was planted a couple of months ago. And now it's taller than myself. And I think this is uh, something that uh, Barut, our one of our worker here, caretaker who lives, my neighbor, we hired a couple of our neighbors to work on the house. Uh, I think it's gonna be harvested soon. Maybe a root or something, but it's full of it here. But we need to do it soon because it's blocking our dwarf coconuts now. Follow this. <laughs> Amazing. Then in summertime, this whole area is completely dry. Even this year, summer, you wouldn't even see a spot of greenery. But of course now in rainy season it's beautiful and then in the future we'll probably have some automatic water system going on here if we want to maintain the greenness. And we always get questions about water. If we have water here or drill hole or something, we don't. We have a water source, this community here. So it's constant and it never runs out. Mm, more banana. And the skin on this one is like like a baby skin, super soft. Mm. Banana, the best. Okay, I think that's it from uh, up here. We gotta go back down and meet the uh, crew, have some updates about the contracts. Back on the boat and we decided to change the lights. So these lights are the new lights. I wasn't too happy about the other ones we had, which looks all right. They're too warm in my opinion and they're not completely straight. So we are actually replacing them with much nicer. Check this out. Straight compared to these ones, not straight enough. So we want to make this. Whew, awesome day coming to an end. 4 p.m. We started off 5 p.m. That's uh, not correct. 5 a.m. Uh, with the dogs. Then we went to the boat. Then we went to the dive center. Checking on the flyers, some promotion stuff. We gotta bring for Chris. Uh, before he goes to the US and then uh, at meeting with our administration worker uh, Invoices, contracts still working on for the boys uh, Then we went up in the land and then back down here And now we're going back home have a dinner with Shirlin and uh, work tonight And then we go again in the morning <clears throat> full of energy <laughs> Until next time, peace out